And once again, we are in Mount Carmel Cemetery, located in Hillside, Illinois. We are coming up to the gravesite of one Louis Campagna. He was born in 1900 and died on May 30th of 1955. Louis is located in section 26, block 27, lot 41, and grave 10 of the cemetery. Nicknamed Little New York and Lefty Louie, Campagna was born in Brooklyn, hence the name Little New York, and came to Chicago in his teen years, when Prohibition was on the horizon. In 1918, Campagna was convicted of bank robbery in Argo, Illinois, and was later sent to 1 to 14 years in the state reformatory in Pontiac, Illinois. Around 1925, he joined the Capone organization and rose through the ranks despite some minor setbacks. In 1927, Campagno was arrested when he led a large contingent of gangsters to surround the Detective Baru at 625 South Clark Street in Chicago. The contingent was apparently sent there to ambush gangster Joe Aelio as he was making his way out the building. After being captured by the coppers, Campagno was overheard speaking to Aelio in Italian, more than likely threatening his life. Campagna was part of the murder squad along with Fred Killer Burke and Gus Winkler who were sent to Brooklyn in 1928 to murder New York mob boss Frankie Yale. The trio nearly blew their cover when it was discovered that they were making long distance phone calls. This potential fiasco made Al Capone's temper flare beyond astronomical proportions. However, Gus Winkler was able to talk Capone out of whacking Campagna, who eventually found his way back on Capone's good side and eventually became a major player in the new regime under Frank Nitti when Capone went away. Campagna was convicted in the Hollywood movie extortion plot in the 1940s, but for some odd reason was paroled early along with Paul Rica, Phil D'Andrea, Charles Gio, and Johnny Roselli. Campagna remained active in outfit business dealings up until his death from a heart attack while fishing off the Florida coast. In 